This tastes like it was made with love. Okay. Zoning tools. Dash attacks. Ratchet combos, but I respect it. Hmm. Or it's smash. That could have killed. Up that hit. Is this working, by the way? Yeah, it is. Is this like ASMR? Can you hear me eating? Hmm. Juicy pizza. Nadia, Raw Thunder. It does catch and. Oh. Caught the directional air dodge, but wasn't enough. He's pretty heavy. Great to understate by Nadia right now. Ooh. Why was he jabbing the C4? Like it's gonna blow it up. <laughs> Okay, I'm bare. Didn't drift back enough to avoid the, the grenade just sitting there. Ooh, shield grabs the F tilt. Oh. Pika strings. What is it? What was the Pika loops called again? Pichu loops? Oh. I'm not sure if that um, landing hit of down air combos into anything, but. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that would have been heat. Using grenade into thunder. Maybe if he did like a wave bounce. Um to get the second hit or something. DSDI out of that. I'll give him the best of the doubt. We're good. Oh. Canadia, hold on to the stock. I think I left my phone in the car. I wanted to pull up chat, but I don't think anyone's watching other than I saw legit 24-7. Did I really leave my phone? That sucks. Oh, really nice advantage state by Nadia. He's just, uh, yeah, they're both wearing headphones, so I can talk louder than I... Because <laughs> th this commentator setup is really close to the players, but they're both wearing headphones. That was weird. But yeah, Nadia's just drifting, or dashbacking right outside of his, like, like the B-reverse range, so he can kind of react to the landings. Not get hit by, like, a raw bear, because that is... Snakes do need to challenge you once in a while. With their uh, big ass bear. But Nadia just avoiding trying to cover all the options on the landings. Just helping him in advantage very much. Oh, quick attacks into the grenade. Well, that's okay, he's up a whole stock. Naren to grab. On shield. Ooh. Parries the Naren, then gets the dare. Oof, bro. You don't really. Did he parry? I think he did. I think he just he was just doing it preemptively and happy to or happened to parry. But I think he could have done like a parry F tilt because you're not doing uh, shield drop frames, so you don't really need to do like a jump out of shield to be fast. Because it was unfortunate that he ended up going the other way because the dare was facing the center stage. This pizza is busting, bruv. Hi, Chris. Wow. It's not bad. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Ooh, nice down tilts. Maybe you get... Maybe using more, uh, more anti-airs, like, before he even shields. Just, like, get maybe a straight-up, like, anti-air up tilt to... He obviously can't just, like, throw it out, um, randomly, like, every time. But if, if, because Aiden is getting a lot of shield pressure. 
Actually, you know what? You know what's a woke option? Just rising up air. Because it auto cancels, so. Oh shit. You put out a big uh, lingering hitbox in the air, cover the air, and you're not committing at the same time, which is really great. I think it's just something you gotta do eventually, because people are just jumping. You can't, you can't rely solely on your parries and shield. You are gonna have to swap them out of the air. I guess snakes do do that with like instant double jump forward air, or maybe instant double jump uh, back air. But up air is a pretty good one. No one wants to talk about the real future though, which is uh, attack cancel up air and you reverse your momentum, <laughs> but that's okay. Or attack cancel near, fading back. Everyone was clowning on that Shulk for being like, yo, Shulk just discovered fade back aerials, but <laughs> they're actually, people don't realize how much of a mo momentum shift you get when you do the attack cancel there because if you try you're just gonna start if your airspeed like sucks too you're just gonna stay in place anyways back to the match I think oh I think I would have liked to see Gary do a up up smash out of shield there I think that's something that uh too scary sorry if I've been saying Gary I just mean too scary, but something that I guess Noah, ugh, weird name, should start doing more, because I remember playing him online once, and he was using Rump Smash out of shield. You're, you're not uh, suffering any shield drop frames, and it's like, it, I swear to god, it's like 11, oh I don't have my phone so I can't check, but it's like 11 out of shield, so, and it's got pretty good range. The only th shitty thing is it might not connect into the... The launcher might not connect into the mortar. But it's a good get off me shield. Uh, get off me tool. That was a good up tilt. Ooh, nice landing bear. I wonder if, uh... Too scary can, uh... Sniff out one of these double jump thunder jolts with the back air eventually when uh, Nadia's in disadvantage. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, he's still living. I love that the two people watching this are their, their homies. <laughs> Alex and uh, Austin. <laughs> They're the only ones watching this outside of me. <laughs> Gotta support. Is it 1 1? I don't remember the scores, so sorry if uh, someone's looking for that. I don't know why our. We're just lazy, so we don't have. Alright, this is like Paul's setup, so. Wait, is it? Whose fucking setup is this? I don't know if Paul's coming back for this. Maybe not. No expected uh, counter picks. I don't know. Uh, too scary he's talking about a pyromithra but I don't know he's doing fine and I don't think she does I'm not sure if she does better because I know that's a struggle matchup as well Pikachu small rat oh nice loops oh oh doesn't react to the the tech in or roll in nice T jolt but still gets hit by the grenade. You gotta watch out for those. Oh. Yeah, Baron landing isn't safe, so he can actually go for down drop shield. Down tilt. Oh, whoa. Oh, he caught his jump? That was so sick. He caught the, the initial frames of the jump and then just went straight for the downer because Snake's not gonna do rising cypher. He's low key. His, like, I don't even know what his best option was. Just like C4 immediately? I don't know if he started the cypher. He just caught that. That was really uh, good awareness on Nadia to... Oh, not there though. <laughs> just jumped right into the C4. Oh! Side B, oos! <laughs> Jump side B, oos! 
<laughs> yeah, he did jump side B. Oos. <laughs> Interesting option. It was a good get. It's a. It's kind of woke. It's like I'm out of here. Oh, the j double jump. Uh, love seeing double jump Nair stuff because you get that little boost from the the Nair. Oh, oh. This fly is scheming on me in this venue. Maybe I stink. Ugh, ledge traps. But Thunder Jolt uh, helps him escape the ledge trap, which is nice because too scary is ledge trapping can go kind of brazy when he fully sets up, but T Jolt helping him not set up. I wonder if that C4 is supposed to hit like taller um, characters. <laughs> but the. Pikachu being short and the slant being there, kind of just he doesn't really care about that C4. Because that it has a deceptively large, like, beneath hitbox. I remember I was playing MVD once, and then he had it on, like, the town and city platform, and then he just, like, delivered the package as it was leaving. Just kind of woke. It's 1 1, apparently. Yeah, it's a, it's a slow set, apparently. Pikachu fair. This move is kind of crazy, but the nice thing about this matchup is he can he can probably armor the like multi hits with the the cipher. He just can't get hit by the last one. Oh, dash attack picking up the grenade and hitting him. Oh, he didn't really react to the neutral air dodge. I feel like he was positioned pretty well for that, but the platform kind of blocked him from uh, pulling the trigger there. Nice movement by Nadia, he was just not really committing, kind of faking him out. Classic. This guy got 5th in melee today. What a talented young man. That's the melee fundies. Very stacked bracket. Congrats to Crow Gunkin. John Rainey for getting 2nd! He's so good! Beats Blunarius on Elite and gets 2nd at Smash Cartoon. Oh my god, so jacked and handsome. Talented. Oh my god, that, that's no shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder if he would have snapped. That looks pretty far. Oh, nice. No shield grab on that. That's, I actually. Hmm. No, that's. Yeah, that, I was gonna say maybe back throw would have been better for the. Uh. Just for, like, ledge or. I don't know. No shot. He actually the dash back up tilt. Amazing. But I was gonna say, yeah, like a maybe a back throw into Nikita into like I don't know, just to like edge guard. But going for the down throw on the platform, you're pretty limited in your options. So that up tilt would have killed like <laughs> like it just showed right there. The dash back up tilt was really really clean. Tough for Nadia, didn't close those out. Um, those, he was landing the fares, but he wasn't landing the final blow. He, he just got a little antsy for the for the dash attack, that, as most Pikachus usually do. I think... I'm not sure what the clock was at. Maybe he could have like played a bit more for time. It's just so risky. Oh shit, he's okay. <laughs> Snake doing down tilt on the slant. This is why we gotta ban this stage, bruv. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, he... I think he maybe tried to... He pressed the tech button twice. Got the directional. Quite unfortunate. Okay. Oh. It, you know what? If he didn't pull out that grenade, it, it's kind of a... Probably like somewhat of an autopilot grenade. I feel like a lot of item characters, players tend to do that. They try to pull their item in advantage state, but you shouldn't just go out there with your normals. You, you could have had a tech chase on the platform. It's something I had to get used to as Bowser Jr. and then Diddy. You just gotta forget about your item and just go in, bro. Because most of the time, that's just like dropped time, missed time for. Setting yourself up for a position. It de it really depends, though. Especially when you're stocked down. I don't. I think you just you gotta make plays like that. 
Spot dodge up tilt. <laughs> A classic. Oh. I actually don't know who wins this matchup. Probably Pikachu, but Snake's just crazy, bro. That's just a stretch. I don't know. I think he only should go for that. Um, never mind. I was going to say maybe he has a bit more trap set up because... No shot. Okay, so 2-2, two -two, I guess. Quick 2-2. Two -two. That was such a quick game compared to like the last couple. Like, unfortunate SD kind of set the, the tempo for that one, playing from behind. Go, go game five to see who gets into grants to face King Scubs. Birthday boy. If you haven't uh, said happy birthday to King Scubs on Twitter, you should say that soon. This is his birthday a couple days ago. It's like 34 now, I think. Anyways, game five, small battlefield. Just gonna have to watch out for the C4 placements. That's covers covers huge. I also hmm, I wonder if there's like obviously uh, two scary notes about the the C4 on the platform setup to back throw. I think that's such a good like setup. I feel like it's underused. It's almost like a ding dong, or it's it's like down throw up tilt, but <laughs> kills at like 80. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Obviously, you need to get them, like, cornered. And you need to throw to the other side of the stage so it isn't as accessible as down throw up tilt. But I think it's, like, a good cheese thing to keep them on their toes because they're always scared of, like, dash attack. Caught, caught his jump. That's tough. Good read, I guess, of the going high. Yeah, Snake, Snake's always going to feel so safe going, uh high because he can kind of armor through the Pika aerials, but I think he, he might be drifting in a bit too much when he is trying to go back to stage. That's just the downfall of Snake. All, all Snake players, you, got, you just gotta go high. It seems like, why do they keep going high? Well, you just gotta, because, I don't know, Cypher Gimps are just as bad. And it's like... At that point, it's like, why didn't you go high? <laughs> kind of a stretch of a F smash rate. Oh, SDI. I think he's trying. I, I picked out his controller. I didn't see much arm movement. I think it was lazy SDI. It's like, I'm probably not going to get out of this because Pikachu's good. But you can if you're that cracked, I think. Get out of there. Oh, runs through the grenades, gets the dash attack. Mm. T Joel's gonna get punished. Very nice. Opening for too scary. Oh, he's looking. Oh, nasty read. Covers a lot right there. Oh, man. Oh, and game five, last stocks. Oh my days! This is intense! These guys just gotta play super safe. Even trade about... Maybe... Ah, oh, never mind. It's never an even trade when it's Snake versus Light. Oh, but... He gets it started. He's gotta watch his, like... Just, like, double jumps. Because he is, when he's doing the double jump, he's kind of drifting in. Or holding center stage, and Nadia's positioned. So, to cover that drift. And then, I don't know, it might catch the jump. Especially because it's just not very high jump. Nah, a little sus shield grab. Because he was fading back, but it's okay. Oh, a couple trades, but... Oh, the raw grenade. But Nadia's only at 43, which isn't too bad. Oh, nice. Gets down. Too scary does win Z. He, he is pretty clutch. I would say I would give him that attribute as a player. This is 2k. 
Damn. GG's. Blinds the fair. That's just tough. Pikachu's a good edge guarder. Uh, 